Hey guys, this is Becky. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Mini Kit Monday. Today we are going to be using, well, the kit I made, which is comprised of mostly close to my heart stuff. You think I, or you think, nope. You can see there, I do have a sketch. It's in the top left hand corner of your screen. It is from www.thescrappiest.blogspot.com. It is designed by Liz Chidester. You guys have heard me say that name before. I love that name, Chidester. It's really cool. Um, I have used her sketches before and I am going to be using them again today. Now I do want to go ahead and remind you down below is linked all the mini kit Monday ladies as well as our guest designers for this month. Now this month actually in the month of June we're only having one guest designer. We did have two but um one of them had to bow out because of personal stuff i do have her linked down below because you know we still love her <laughs> so hop over and show her some love um so we have jennifer and jen go ahead and check out their links down below jennifer is the one that's going to be actively participating jen is the one who is going to need some of your good vibes so go ahead and send those over to her so you can see right here, I am going to start building this right hand area of the layout. Now, when I looked at this sketch, I should have made it smaller, by the way, because it is going to be covering up a lot of my page, especially toward the end. And I'm really sorry about that. I should have edited that to be smaller, but I didn't. Whatever. My favorite part of the sketch is see over the photo where there's that crisscross Oh, I am totally going to try to emulate that. It doesn't look the same, but it still looks pretty cool. So I am going to go ahead and try and, and um, do that little element on this layout. So right here, you can see I am going to build the cluster off the page just a little bit. I do that from time to time. And the only reason why is so I can use the squares to kind of get them straight ish it's just easier than pulling out my t-square ruler right so right here see i can line it up a little bit better it is so funny i recently took that off my desk because i was doing a 12 by 12 layout and my mat is only 22 inches not 24 inches so if y'all know where i can find myself a cutting mat that is 24 or greater Go ahead and link that down below because I need to get one. Usually I don't do a whole lot of double pages and I don't know if I'm going to be doing them a whole lot in the future, but I know that recently I did do one of my own. It wasn't a workshop. It was one I decided to do on my own, if you can believe that. Yes. What? I know. Um... And that's when I realized that my mat was not quite 24 inches. So that kind of sucked. I do need to get a new one. I need to get a new one anyways because this one's just kind of gross. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and continue building our sketch. I do take this little green strip of paper. It has some Swiss crosses on them or as Americans might call them, plus signs. Um, I have a strip up at the top and a strip down at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and layer up this uh, candy apple cardstock by Close to My Heart and also that same paper that I used over on the right-hand side in my little flip photo cluster. At the top, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the green with the plus signs and then I am going to use the stripe paper. Now, I don't put a strip of candy apple up there just yet, but I will add a little something something later. So, oop, look, you see, <laughs> forgot to edit that out. <laughs> I zoomed in on the uh, layout. So here I'm going to go ahead and make my little X, right? So I'm using a strip of the plus sign and a strip of that colored paper. And I'm going to kind of glue it together in the center like it's an X. And then I'm going to trim it down a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually bending it over the edges of the photo. I am not like faking it and cutting it off. No, I'm not doing that. I'm bending it around the photo. <laughs> and then that little part that hangs over at the bottom. Yeah, we're gonna just going to clip that off and pretend it didn't exist. Yeah, I did it real, like really, it's bent over. 
I didn't do that. Um, let's just clip it off to the same size. Nope. Mm -mm. So I'm going to go ahead and make my title. I'm going to call this. Okay, so this is a photo of my son and Riley when she was an infant. Is a photo I had printed, so apparently I haven't scrapbooked it yet. And I'm just calling this New Love. So I'm going to be using this love that's an acrylic shape that I got from close to my heart in fact it's on clearance I believe right now it's from a Thanksgiving Day pack from mm, not last year but the year before but I think it's still available I'm also I'm sorry I had to have a drink I was thirsty I'm also going to be using some chipboard hearts from that one canoe two line you saw me pull out those chipboard pieces Right here, I did take out my diamond press. It's just a really small uh, die cut machine. It has to be less than two inches wide, maybe one and a half inches wide to run through there. And I did take these alpha dies at, out. These are from close to my heart as well. And you can see right here, those, the N and the E, I die cut on the light side of the um, cardstock. What is that called? Candy apple cardstock? The candy apple cardstock. And the W, I die cut on the dark side. <laughs> and then when I went ahead and tried to flip it over so they all were on the same color, um, I could see the ridges on the W. So I am going to go back and cut that out again. I also did pull out a punch. It's, a, it's an EK success punch. And it's it says it's just a square and there's some scallops around it that's all it is I put one over on the right hand side I am gonna put a little bit of one up at the top which of course this is what I was talking about the sketches in the way of it so you can't really tell that it's up there you'll see it here in just a little bit when that sketch goes away so right here I am gonna go ahead and commit to my title and it is going to be new love you see how that W is darker yeah, because it's the opposite side of the cardstock. If I flip it over, you can see, you know how when you use still dies on the opposite side of them, you can see where the die has bent downwards. It looks really nice and clean from the front side, but if you flip it over to the back side, not so much. So that's what we have going on here. So I am just gonna have to use a new piece of paper to put that in there. Right there I use, I think that blue, I think that was a whale. And I just went ahead and layered that up just for the blue color. Here's where I'm die cutting a new W so that it's the same color there we go right like that so to put down these acrylic paste pieces i am going to be using the close to my heart liquid glass this is what i would recommend you to use for anything that is heavy like the acrylics mm, maybe chipboard you don't have to do it for chipboard but maybe chipboard uh, metal pieces things like that the liquid glass it's gonna hold it so that is what I'm going to be using on my acrylic pieces if you check my link down below it is uh, Becky bidding close to my heart com you can pick up liquid glass over there if you'd like I am gonna go ahead and I love how this looks I'm gonna put that love and the L is going to be loop de lewd over the N, and it looks so good. A lot of times, if there are lines in between my letters that are usually they're thickers, um, if there's like a line in the middle of my thicker, like in the middle of an A or something, it drives me crazy. I think because this love is so thin that the lines that are in between it when I put it over the new over the end it does not I mean it is it just looks so good I love that that's like my favorite part of this layout the favorite part of this layout is that title new love with the acrylic love over the new also at the end I am going to do splatters so there are some on and around the love. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. So up here on this little piece, this is one that I had uh, punched out with a that EK, EK success punch you can see over the right hand side. I'm just putting another one of those acrylic hearts down. I'm putting a word 
phrase, or not word phrase, it's just one word. It says unbelievable. And underneath it, I'm also going to be putting one of those one canoe two hearts so cute and it matches the one that's in the photo i'm gonna put one of the same color up in the top left which is what i'm doing here which i made my sketch too big so you can't see it but you will see it in the close-ups up there i have another one of those punches from that ek success punch another one of those acrylic hearts from close to my heart um a little word that says happy place and a heart that is also actually it's that one right there um the small one i'm going to put down this big one this small one right here that one right there it's going to be up at the top and then i am also going to have some glitter gems up there which you are not going to see and also some splatters which you can't see until the end sorry guys i'm so sorry and as you can see i am still using that liquid glass around the page to put down the acrylics I just use it on that chipboard too. Mm -hmm. I think. Maybe not. Um, that art glitter glue, that's a liquid adhesive as well. And that's like my favorite, favorite liquid adhesive. That's what I usually use for chipboards or um, backing my thickers or just tacking down any loose corners that I might have at the end that I don't want there. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and do my splatters. I did cover up the basic part of my photo. I'm using these watercolors from Rachel Beth Designs. She does have an Etsy and a web page. Her web page is, I think, rachelbethdesigns.com. You can hop over there. It's hard to find the metallics, though. She does not always have them, but you can keep checking back. Um, if I do find... If I check back with her, which I do frequently, and she has them, I will put them in, or I'll put that, I'll put it up on YouTube so y'all will know, because I know I have a lot of people ask about them. All right, guys, I am not gonna do anything else this layout. Sorry about the jumbled mess. Whew, I feel like I was rushing. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Please check the links down below. Check out all the mini kit Monday ladies plus our two guest designers, even though one is joining. Bye, guys.